All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's review time. I'm Grim from the Bug Out Boys, and the piece of gear that I'm going to be reviewing today is going to be my Streamlight Sidewinder Compact 2. So why don't I bring you in closer so we can give this piece of gear a thorough look over. Now that I got you in close, as always, I'll leave a link in the description so you can go to Streamlight's website to check out all the technical specs of this particular model, which is the Streamlight Sidewinder Compact 2. 2 is very important. So, let's go into it and find out about some of the positives. And right off the bat, the positive is going to be that 2 factor. See, the Compact 2 has two different ways of powering it. It can be powered by a AA battery or a CR123 battery. And having two different power sources that this headlamp can operate off of is invaluable in my opinion and a huge positive. I've even read that some people have put a AAA battery in here as long as it's stabilized on the contacts and it works as well. Again, different power outputs for those different power supplies, but when you're scrounging around for batteries, that's going to be your friend. Another positive is going to be the different lights that are on here. So first you have your white light and this has four different intensities as such and then off we'll just do that and then you have a red light with four intensities and infrared light so for your night vision goggles or for your cameras and then a blue light as well all with their individual four different intensities. So that's great. If you don't want to kill your night vision or you want to conserve battery power, you have the options to do so. Another positive is that the controls are very simple, just a one button touch here. And then as you saw, I was using this to switch between the different lights and you don't have to turn off to do so. You can just do it on the fly. And this is easily operatable with your gloves on as well. And then finally, this detaches from the head strap. So if you don't want to use it on your head, if you want to clip it into your belt or into your backpack, you can do so. And there are accessories for this part right here that you can have this mounted to your helmet, to a Picatinny rail. Again, versatility and the ability to use that in just positives all around. All right, now for the negatives. The first negative is going to be the headband. The headband itself works great, but it'd be nice if they put some padding right here, either behind the strap or on this little bit right here. Just some of that you know, dense foam to kind of give your forehead a break. I haven't had problems with it myself because I'm usually wearing a bandana and that gives you a little bit of cushion, but I'll put that in, in the negative category. Second negative is that as of right now, this is the only configuration of the Sidewinder Compact 2, the white light, red, infrared, and blue. If you don't use infrared, well, that might be a wasted feature for you. Maybe down the road, they will replace the infrared and give you an option for a green LED like they do in the Sidewinder Compact, but as of right now, this is it. And then lastly, the high output for the white light is gonna be at 55 lumens. And that will last for, I believe, six hours. Now, some people love their lumens. They have to have 100, 150, 500 lumens for their headlamps and their flashlights. And if that's you, well, just near at 55 lumens. That being said, I rarely have this on high. I almost always have it on low. First, to conserve batteries, and also, I just don't need all that light out in the wilderness. A little light will do you, so to speak. But that is my review of the Streamlight Sidewinder Compact 2. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed my review of the Streamlight Sidewinder Compact 2. And if you did, please do subscribe because there's gonna be more reviews, bots, pioneer preps, and of course, Bug Out Boy episodes along the way. And if any questions or comments about this particular piece of gear, Leave those down below in the comment section. First of all, I just love hearing from you. And second, I will get back to you and hopefully I can answer your questions for you. So till then, take care.